so for entrances entrances <laughs> we click the add button and this is also where I can click on the drawing we have a little help thing that comes up automatically to kind of give you some tips for entrances and th the main tip is that you can now add entrances to multiple panels so that's something new to this version 16 program I can click on the starting and ending panels that's going to span that entrance you'll notice that down here it says 2-4 I could I could have actually typed that in as well but in this case I uh, use the interface on the drawing so now I can click new for job and that's going to give me uh, the ability to create kind of a new entrance by picking a frame from the entire framing uh, door frame list and then selecting door leaves from the entire door leaf list and if I only want a frame and no door leaves I just cancel out of the door leaf uh, portion of that and uh, and that's how you can do it and from the catalog menu let's hit that there's actually a bunch of pre-configured um, framing systems so if I want a medium style door I would put medium here and if I want a pair I can select pair there and if I want transom with transom header I can select that so that's kind of narrowing things down and this is where we're using the description to see if we want butt hung or offset pivot that kind of thing so let's say I want center hung now what we'll see is we've added a specific door frame and door leaf because that's what was pre-configured in that entrance and I can actually edit I can change hardware add hardware and do those things just by editing in here so for the door frame I can edit now one thing I wanted to mention you'll see how there's two job alerts down here let's go into that um, it's talking about oh here's one thing so it's telling me that I have a different door frame profile than I do the framing system and it's also saying that the transom glass was adjusted because the f door frame setting has a zero side bite for the glass but it knows that that's not good so it's picking up the glass bite from the framing system so let's address those two things um, if I want to fix the door frame problem I can actually change the uh, profile and change the part numbers and all that or what's probably better is just to start over and say I want to find a two inch door frame and um, let's get back to the drawing here so now is where I pick the panels again oh sorry let's uh, I'm going to type them in this time so two to four not 40 <laughs> two to four it's going to highlight them for me I'm going to pick from the catalog and we're going to say the same type of thing right we're going to say pair we're going to say that it was medium now this is where you would need to know kind of uh, what you're doing with your entrances that have been configured in transom so once I select one then it's going to show me down here the details of that so if I know I need a two inch frame then I've selected that right here but that's not a pair so let's get back to the pair there we go so now if I click one it'll show me okay that's two inches maybe down here is inch and three quarters so I want the two inch because I'm looking at all this information down here so now we don't have that warning but we have the transom warning so now to fix that transom warning and again it is fixing it for us but the reason we're getting the warning is because these values are zero and this is something that we're going to go through all the different catalogs in version 16 and fix this ourselves so you won't have to but for now uh, these all this information was brought over from version 15 and these settings were different in that 15 program so we couldn't carry those settings over automatically so just keep that in mind um, so I can just type in 7 sixteenths here and if that's the glass bite I need then I can save it so now we notice there's no more warnings so not only is the door frame profile correct 
our glass byte has been configured and it doesn't have to extrapolate from the framing system. So the next step is actually adding glass. Let's add glass because it seems like we have everything else done. Um, oh, with the exception of, let's say I want to change the width of this middle light in the in the transom glass. That's the whole reason we added a door to multiple panels. Um, because it gives me the ability to adjust the panel widths, which in, in essence adjusts the transom uh, glass width. So under panels, I select width, I click on the panel I want to adjust, and then I type in a new value, and then I hit add. So you notice that narrowed to 12 inches, it adjusted the daylight opening of the other panels. So now when I go back here, I've got that fixed in place. So now I can go to glass, and for version 16, we're adding a glass product to the job. Now this list of glass can be built by you and, and you can add as many as you want and put pricing and all that in. Here's the pricing. Um, any, anything you type in here will show up on the drawing when you apply the glass and you'll see that after we do it. So you can add multiple kinds of glass for the job. If you need different glass uh, in one row versus another, different door glass, then the frame, all that. You just add the types of glass you need to the job and then you click on the one you want and apply it where it needs to go via these controls here. So by row, by light. Let's do by elevation because that's quick and all I have to do is point in the elevation and click and now the glass has all been assigned. You'll notice how the colors changed. It shows that label up here. It shows us a position label. It shows me um, an actual glass size. So if I were to go back to the elevation, we saw this before when it was blue colored, but the glass bite is actually showing here where it extends into the frame. So you have control over all these color things under settings, both the settings dock and the settings menu. So um, we give you a lot of control over the colors on the drawing and uh, the glass and things like that. You can even change uh, a pattern for the glass just by clicking here for different types of glass can have different patterns. So spandrel can show differently with a different pattern than uh, vision glass, things like that. So now that we've done that, I can click zoom to fit here, get familiar with these controls too, and I can actually expand this. Um, so now it's time for reports, right? So we can actually go to our drawings menu and hit shop drawings. This will actually generate uh, scale drawings based on whatever s settings we have over here with a title block if, if we've included a title block and then it'll actually show us details for the system that we're using. So we can print those out uh, if you just need a quick printout for you know uh, the sake of reviewing stuff you don't need to show the title block and the details and all that so you can uncheck those things here. Um, but that's basically how you get to printing your drawings. Um, and then we've got our reports. So we've got the d individual reports can all be uh, selected from here. We're actually reconfiguring this window uh, under reports, so I won't go too far into it. But let's look at the batch report uh, window. So this is where we can select multiple reports to show at one time. Um, and then we can either shown by elevation or job reports. We're going to be adding to this list because there's more items in this menu than there are in this window. So this needs to be elaborated on for sure. But uh, but the idea is you can select multiple reports and click run once and then it's going to kind of um, iterate through the reports. So the first one is the parts for the elevation. When I close that then it's going to open up the glass and so on. So that's the beauty of running those types of reports. Um, so the one report that's not on there is what we call the markup and the markup report lets you actually add tax and uh, surcharges and your actual markup rate. So that's how you get your bottom line price. You can add uh, information for the job uh, and dates and things like that. So this will print out pretty much like it looks here. And you can have notes and all those types of things. You can save to defaults. You can restore settings from defaults um, and different different things like that. So this is what you're actually, you know, 
creating an estimate for us. So you can get all these types of numbers in there and get it printed out. You can do labor, uh, which would also show up in markup. And there's a whole labor configurations uh, setting and window here, and there's separate videos on that. So all the different details in here, you're going to want to watch separate videos for. But this gives you an idea of what the um, program can do. Uh, actually, one of the one of the big reports is the cut list report. So uh, that shows you how all the stock links are cut. Here's that code that I talked about when we created the elevation and the different sizes that are needed for the different stock links of that part. So this can be exported so that it can be brought into a saw stop machine and uh, or it can just be printed out and given to a, a uh, shop fabricator. So, so yeah, that in essence that's everything this program does in a nutshell, but there's obviously a lot more details and, and things you can do. So check out our other videos for all that and enjoy.